This book is a very, very important book. Amen. Amen. In this series of vision, John is seeing in advance mm -hmm. the end of terror and the judgment That's right. which could bring in the golden age of God. Mm -hmm. We gotta understand. We gotta read the book and we gotta understand it. The seeds represent the beginning of Christ's judgment for the unbelievers on the earth during the tribulation period, Matthew 24, 31. There's a close similarity between the judgment and the event period by Christ in Matthew. The purpose of this tribulation period is to punish the unbelievers for their sins, because the unbelievers didn't want to listen anyway. Well, so that's why we're here to, to, to make sure that the people of God know exactly what's going to take place. But I just want to tell you about the seeds. The first seed represents victory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's the first horse. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And I saw and behold the white horse, right. and he that sat on it had a bow, and a crown was given unto him to conquer, conquering and to conquer. That's, that's the victory. Amen. 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 And when he had opened the second seed, mm -hmm. I heard the second horse say, Come and see. Hallelujah. Something is going on. Mm -hmm. Come and see. Amen. Amen. That horse was put into command mm -hmm. to let them know that something is going to be going on. That's right. So they said, Come and see. So we're going to read this book and we're going to understand this book. I mean, look. Come and see me to look. Look and see what is going on. We need yeah. to look at this and see what is going on instead of um, trying to make our own suggestions. Amen. Amen. We gotta be sure that what we see is what we see and what we know is what we know. How are we gonna know by reading the word? Amen. 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 Will you be around God's throne? Hallelujah, Jesus. Right. Yeah. And when the when the horse was come that was red, power was given unto him that sat upon it, and the peace from the earth was taken away. Amen. That everyone should be killed. Yes. Everyone is going to be killed. There will be none left. Hallelujah. There's a life. Glory to God. There's going to be war and bloodshed. Hallelujah. Yeah. We think we see war now. There's going to be war and bloodshed. Oh, Hallelujah, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Peace is going to be taken away. Can you imagine peace taken away from the earth? Oh, if, if the peace is still going on the earth now, it's so bad in the earth on today. Think about the future, what is going to come, oh, what yeah. is going to happen, hallelujah. Yeah. We're going to see people walking around with swords and just taking your head off. Yeah. Glory to God, hallelujah. But we serve a God that is able, once you die in Christ, hallelujah, you shall live again. Glory to God, hallelujah. And that's where we preach the word, hallelujah. Yeah. So we get it into our hearts and we know exactly what is going to take place. Glory to God, hallelujah, yeah. Jesus. Yes. Yes. And when the third seal was opened, and behind I saw a black horse. And the black horse had inflation. Hallelujah, Jesus. The world is going to be so bad. Hallelujah. It's coming down to it, church. Yes. It's getting bad. Hallelujah. Yes. Inflation, you're not going to be able to buy. You're not going to be able to sell. You're not going to be able to get nothing to eat. Hallelujah. So we need to start praying us from now. Hallelujah. Don't wait till the inflation really kick in. Hallelujah. we got to start praying. Hallelujah. Because come next year, we don't know what's going to happen. Hallelujah. All right. Jesus. All right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I heard a voice in the midst of the first beast say, a measure of wheat for a penny. Glory to God. Could you imagine? Hallelujah. A 
behold a pale horse. Yeah. Jesus. A pale horse. And him that sat on him yeah. was death and hell. Follow with him. Yeah. And power was given unto them over the four parts of the earth to kill with swords well. and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. I just want you to know, hallelujah, Jesus. This pale horse will represent death. Yeah. And if you're not ready for Jesus, when Jesus comes, you're going straight to hell. Hallelujah, Jesus. The word said, hallelujah. Death take lives and hell hold them for judgment. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's simple as that. The word let you know what we should be doing, how we're supposed to worship God, how we're supposed to serve God. You got to be holy. Is it a holiness or hell? Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And death will take your life. Hallelujah. And hell will hold it for judgment. Right. For judgment day. Hallelujah. Oh. So you want to be in hell? Or you want to be represent God, hallelujah. Then we can go to heaven and meet each other, hallelujah. And sing the hallelujah song, hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Glory to God, hallelujah. And I'm coming down, hallelujah, Jesus. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the fifth seal. I'm at the fifth seal right now, hallelujah. And I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain. For the word of God well, and for the testimonies which was held, then plenty of people, God's people, is going to be slain. They're going to be destroyed for the word of God, just like how did they join? Amen. But they're going to cut our heads off. They're going to cut you up. They're going to do all sorts of things. They don't want to hear the word of God. Hallelujah. Yeah. And the word of God is what's going to turn their lives around, but they, don't, they still don't want to hear. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tribulation period going to come. They still don't want to hear. Hallelujah. But we still got to keep on telling them about oh. the word of God. Glory to God, hallelujah. Well, the Bible said here, the souls of the men and women that were killed for the testimony of Jesus Christ, the ones that you think that's not going to be in heaven, mm -hmm. hallelujah, we got another thing coming. And they're crying with a low voice saying, hold on, Lord God, hold on.